This is Gemara Baba Kama Daf Kuf Zayin. And we're holding Kuf Amin Beis. We are three lines from the bottom. Continuing the sugya of different Shaimrim and how it relates to when they claim that the item was stolen. Says the Gemara Amar Rabba, another statement of Rav Chiyab Rabba Amar Rav Yechanan. Ha'atoyin tainas ganev bipikadoyin. If a shaymer chinam claims that a pikadoyin, that a deposit that was left by him was stolen, einoy chayiv, this shaymer chinam is not obligated. Ad sheyichbar b'miksas. The only time he's going to have to pay kefel is is if he's kaifer in part of the story, and then later is v'yoyde b'miksas. So says Rav Chiyabar a unique halacha regarding a shaymer chinam, that there will only, go, there will only be the chiyav kefel if there's a kfira b'miksas and a hida b'miksas. Why? He learned it from a basic. My time out on my cross, says the Basik. Ki who zeh? Says the Basik, I'll call the var. We look take a moment to look at the Basik. Called var peshav, al sharva chamar, al sev, al salma. I'll call avida sher yomar. For any avida, that one says. No, you can't see the Basik. One second. Call avida, there it is. Call avida sher yomar. Ki who zeh? And he met her, and he which a shaymer says, This is it, this is what I owe you. If he says, This is it, this is what I owe you, and nothing more than this, then it says the Gemara, there's no chiyav, there's no chiyav in that case. But only if there's a partial hayda together with that. As if you look at the last words of Rashi on the Amid, Rashi spells out, I know Haida be mixas be parshas. Toyin da nesganek say with regard to ganef, the pasuk says ki huza. Only if he says a partial Haida, that's when. <coughs> Excuse me. That's when there will be kefel by the shemer chinam. And the Gemara explains that this statement is not a simple one, but rather, as we turn over to a slightly shorter, more than slightly, Ahmed Aleph, in which the Gemara continues quoting the opinion of Rav Yasef that holds, Erov Parshiyas Shanu Khan. The Torah has a mixture of Parshiyas. Because when the Pasuk says, Ki when the Pasuk discusses this partial admittance, says of Chiyabar Yosef, this is referring to specifically Al Milva Udachsev. This is referring to a Milva, not with regard to the deposit to a Pikadain. Only one with regard to a halva alone, and then he admits partial that he's chayiv, that's where the Pasik is discussing ki Whereas when it comes to pikadon, says Rechibar Yosef, will not be the same. Now the obvious question is, what's the difference? Umayishna milva, kidi rabba. Milva is different, like rabba has taught us, the Amar rabba says, rabba, mimam ratayra. What is the reason the Torah says, Yeshava? Where does it come from that when someone who is partially admits that he has to make a shvua? The reason being, Chazaka, one went out of the chutzpah, two in front of someone that lent him money, deny owing him money. And really, when this guy is admitting partially, we go deep into his psyche, and we know that really he would love to admit to everything. Really, he would love to say and come clean, I owe you the whole halva. But why did he not? is 
because he doesn't have, excuse me, that, I said that wrong. Really, he wants to deny the whole thing. So why didn't he deny the whole thing? Because one does not have the chutzpah to do that after his own lent of money. And now on the flip side, really, we love to admit to the whole thing. makes us. Why does he not? Because he thinks if I am moide bekule, if I admit to the whole thing, tavali bekule. Then I have to pay for the whole thing, of course. And I don't have the cash. So I'll push him off a little bit. I'll try to stall for a time. Hasha, do you lay Zuzi? I'll admit a part of it. Oh, parana. And I'll pay for it. Help. And this is the reason why Rabba famously holds Maidab and makes us a taina. Now, when someone admits Barsi has to make a shvua. Ramo Rachmana Shvuale says the Taira, this guy, he partially admitted because he couldn't fully deny because he doesn't have the chutzpah. He couldn't fully admit because he doesn't have the cash. So says the Taira, let's make him swear. And therefore, he'll come clean. But this halacha that a Maidab mixes a Taina particularly, has this din of a shvua, says the Gemara, Vehai, excuse me, Kechem Zohar Zeh Vekulei, Vekabe Melva Hu Deika Lememar Hachi. This whole story, this whole svara, this whole impetus to give a shvua, to make him come clean, only starts with a melva. Aval Gabe Bikadain. But, when it comes to a Bikadam, when it comes to a pikadin, excuse me, meyes u meyes. He'll have the chutzpah, and therefore, because he doesn't feel that same dedication to he that lent him money, and therefore, says the Gemara, that is the reason why this halacha of ki says of chia bar Yosef, does not apply to a pikadin, but rather only applies to a milva. Now, it is a little bit fascinating that the Gemara here went through such lengths to speak out this din of Rabbah. As this din of Rabbah of Haidab and Mixed Taina, Yeshava is not really the Sigya. But either way, before we move on, let's just take a second to look at Rashi. Rashi, Dama Rav Yechanan, Kedarabah, excuse me, Dama Rabbah, not Rav Yechanan. Kedarabah, Dama Rabbah says Rashi, Ein Adam Mei is Panav, Bifnei Zesh, Aislai Taiva. One is not going to have the chutzpah, the brazenness, to fully deny in front of someone that didn't mataiva helkach. Hey, chadik of call when he actually was a kite for our call, when he said, when the guy claimed you owe me a hundred bucks, he said, I don't owe you anything. Potter me shvua. So Rashi just filling in the blanks that if he lamaisa was not admitted in part actually, but rather he went for the gold and he fully denied. Allah is his no shvua. Why? Do you love kushta? If not for the fact that he's telling the truth, he would not be able to deny. And therefore, on the flip, when he's partially maida, we say really he wants to admit, really he would want to deny the whole thing, but by a where there's no type, we don't have such a svara. And from here we move on to the last line of Kovzayin Amar Aleph, says the Gemara, Tani Rami Bar Chama, Arba Shaim says Rami Bar Chama the Dalit the Shaimim and this is going to be at the very beginning of Amitzia, which will be there very soon. Dalit Shaimim teaches Rami Bar Chama. Dalit Shaimim Surichin Kapira Bimikfira Bimiksas Vaida Bimiksas. The Dalit Shaimrim need a partial admittance and a partial denial, in order to create the Shvua Asa Shaimrim, as the Tab Rashi points out, Kodesh Chayvu Shvua, 
says the Gemara, Ve'elu hein, whom are these Dalit Shaimrim? Famously, Shaimr Chinam, the unpaid watchman, Vashayel, the borrower, Noisi Sacher, the renter, Vasaycher, the, the paid, excuse me, watchman, Vasaycher, and the renter. Says the Gemara, where does Rami Bar Chama get this halacha from? Amai Rav, Amai Taimu, Rami Bar Chama. Where did Rami Bar Chama get this halacha? That the Dalit Shaimrim are only Chayim Vashmua. In a situation of Kfir of Imixas and Adab Imixas. Shaimr Chinam, four lines down, comes out in the base. The head of the base explicitly says the Torah, Ki Huzeb, says the Torah like it is. And which we just explained refers to a Hidab Imixas and a Kfir of Imixas. Shaimr Sachar, Yal Nesina Nesina Mi Shaimr Chinam. We learn Xer Shavra from Shaimr Chinam. Shayel v'chi yishal the next shavav v'av meisal in yirishin adds out to the earlier shaymim al in yirishin soicher renter ilam an damer k'shem yisachar hainu shem yisachar if you hold that a soicher renter is the same halacha shem yisachar then it's like a shem yisachar ilam an damer k'shem yisachar hainu shem yisachar and that's the halacha that the dalit shaymim only are going to pay in a situation only are going to swear excuse me in the situation of idav and mixes and kfira b'mixas. V'amar Rabchia Bar Yosef continues the Gemara twelve lines down. The first one is Atoy. Ha Atoy in that is Gan of the Bikadoin. Einoi Chayiv Achi Shalich Boyah. It says Rabchia Bar Yosef. Someone who claims that a Bikadoin was stolen, and indeed he was not, but rather he still has the item. Says the Gemara. The Allah is he is not Chayiv to pay Kefel. Until he used the item, my taima, when he carried the balabais al holy kim, the balabais comes in front of the judges. Im loy shal chiyadai bim lachzreiu mechlal. Im loy shal chiyadai bim lachzreiu. He comes in front of the judges to make a shvur that he didn't use the item. Mechlal. From here is where we infer the shalach boyad. If he did use the item, then mechayev. Then indeed he is obligated. Then he is obligated. And this teaches us that when the Pasuk discusses Kefel, it's only in the situation of Shlich Asiyad. Now, Shalach Bayad means, of course, that he used it illegally because he wasn't really allowed to use the item. That's the opinion of Amr of Chia Bar Yosef. Continues the Gemara, Amr Lahur of Chia Bar Abba. Chia Bar Abba comes along and he argues. And says of Chia Bar Abba, Hachi Amar Av Yechanan, by Mada, by Medes Alavusa Shanu, that when is the Shaymer Chayef to pay Kefel, where the animal is standing Alavusa by its trough, meaning was not used; it's still standing in the original place. And still says of Chia Bar Abba, there is a payment of Kefel. So says the Gemara, Amr Lei Rav Zira or Rav Chia Bar Abba. Rav Zira says to Rav Chia Bar Abba, Tavka by Medes Alavusa Kamar. What do you mean when you say it's standing on the trough? Is that Tavka? Avul Shalch Bayad. Kana, you make a Kenyan. And then even worse, Ushvu Allah Mahan Yobe. Meaning, what do you mean when you said it's Oymedes Alavusa? Are you arguing mamish 100%? And therefore, even if it's used, there's nothing to be done. The shul won't even help. Klum. I don't know. I feel like medis ala vusa kamar. Even if it's a medis ala vusa, the shvua would work. So Amar Lei, Rachi responds, I apologize, you lost the page. There it is. Zulay Shamati. This I didn't hear. But kiyotze by shemati that what I'm Rabbi Yosef Asi I'm Rabbi Yechel that toin dan as avad v'nishba v'chaz v'toin dan as ganav v'nishba u'baidim and after first being toin dan as ganav and then being toin dan excuse me first being toin dan as avad then being toin dan as ganav and then what happens Edom come say that he is the one that stole it but my time ah lam misham the kana is not because. He was koine the ayda bishvua rishayna. So what do we see? The ones he requires item, 
it does not create a kefel afterwards. So it proves our kasha that, that if it's considered a kinyan, there's no kefel afterwards. Omar lei, Rav Zeir responds, lei, hayo v'yotzi, they buy them for shvua rishayna. The reason is because they were yaitz design. They caused the lemais that did what they had to do with the original shvua. That's why there won't be a subsequent kefel. And the Gemara proves this. It's marnami. Omar Rav Ovin, Omar Rav Ilo, Omar Rav Yechna, Toyin Tanas, Aveda, Bepikadai, Menishba, Vachosva, Toyin Tanas, Geneva, Menishba, Ba'edim, Pater, Hol, Viyatsi, Depailim, Bishvua, Rishayna, Lamaisa, it was your Yetze with the original Shvua. Continues the Gemara, a small Sugya to end off the day. Omar, Omar, Rav Sheshes, Amar Rav Sheish, as I tain tanas ganav be kadoin, says Rav Sheish. If someone is tain tanas ganav be kadoin, kivon she shalach boyad potter, says Rav Sheish, arguing and that which we just said, that if someone claims it was stolen by a be and he himself used it, the law is says Rav Sheish, he is potter from. Kefel, my time. Oh, one second. I apologize. Our page just disappeared. Let's get. What, oh, excuse me. We're, we're having issues over here. There it is. My time. Oh. Why I does Rav Sheshis hold the Tain Tan is kind of Kadain? And you use it, your potter from the Shavuah. Hachi Kamarachmana says Rav Sheshis, because this is what the Torah means. But if he did use the item, then there is no kefel. Amr lei, Rav Nachman says, Rav Nachman, one second. But there are three shavuos that a shaymer chinam that claims an item was was stol- stolen has to make three shavuos, says the Brisa, which are what? Shvua shalei b'shati, but he wasn't negligent. Shvua shalei shalachto v'yad, he didn't use it. Shvua shalei b'shusi. So my la, shvua shalei shalachto v'yad. What does it mean, the shvua that I didn't use it? It's domi the shvua de'in b'shusi. That what's the comparison? My shvua shalei b'shusi, just like if someone makes a shvua, that's out of my possession. Ki megal milsa. When we subsequently find out that, guess what? To isa b'shusi. Chayiv. Av shvua shalei shalachto v'yad. Ki megal yom milsa de shalachto v'yad. Chayiv. So ask the Gemara, how are you, Rav Shish, is telling me to that it's kind of a Bikadain when you use it, your potter? We see in the Bryce and not that way. Omar Lay responds, Rav Shish says, Loi, Shvua Shalai Shlachta Bayad, Omya, the Shalai Bashati Ba, Ma, Shvua Shalai Bashati Ba, just like one makes a Shvua, that he wasn't negligent on the first very wide line, Kimagal Yomos and the Bashba potter, Mi Kefal, Ashur Shalai Shlachta Ba, Kimagal Yomos and Shalach Bayad, potter, Mi Kefal. Stop over here. We pick it up from here in the next year. We see Yato Dishmai.